Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. I was requested to do a D. What do you do with all those skinny syrups that you have? So I thought I've done these kind of videos before with protein mix, with sugar-free puddings, with, there was another one I did, like a tutorial. So I thought I did one on skinny syrups, but apparently I didn't. I just did an unboxing, which I might've mentioned it there, but you know what? Gives me an excuse to chat with you fine folks. So let's talk skinny syrups. Jordan's skinny syrups, that is. That is. Now skinny syrups are flavored syrup. Are they like pancake syrup? No, it's more like a flavoring syrup, like a grenadine syrup, like you want to flavor something. Now, I'm going to be totally honest with you. You can go on their website, jordanskinnysyrups.com. I will link them down below. I have a 10% off, but I will tell you, just to see the different flavors. If you go to TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, a few other stores carry them for $3.99. Putting that out there. You know what? I'm all about getting you guys a deal. Yeah, I can get 10%, but hey, you know what? I'm looking out for you. I would say go there. But if there's a flavor that they, they just don't have, like for me, it was chai. I could not find this to save my life. So I did go on the website and order it because I just didn't want to wait anymore. True story. But yeah, they have, sometimes they have them in the kitchen section. Sometimes they have them on the way out. So I would say check there first. And if yours is a flavor that you've been jonesing for, like for me, I need to have this one in my pantry at all times. Cookie dough. I can't even begin to tell you. Probably my favorite one. And yes, I will show you the list of ingredients. You probably won't know. And it's zero calories and zero points. But let me tell you something. You're not going to know them because they're making it taste like cookie dough. And honestly, I really don't care. But if you're a person that likes ingredients and all that, this is probably not the video for you. But you can go on the website. You can read it in depthly if you like. To me, I don't get that into ingredients and good, bad, and ugly. To me, no food is inherently bad. I say that all the time. A little bit of this is not going to hurt anybody. Would I suggest you drink a whole bottle of this? Absolutely not. But a splash here and there never hurt anybody. So where do you use these, Dee? Well, let me tell you. Let's start off with the big place that people use these is in their coffee. Iced coffee, probably more than hot coffee. But if you like, I'm not going to show you all I have because we will be here all stinking day. But let me just tell you, I have an absurd amount of skinny syrups. Honestly, everybody in the house enjoys them on one thing or another. So I, they don't go to waste in my house. And some people get me them for holidays. I had a friend for my birthday get me three of the little fun packs. They get the little mini ones. Because you can get mini ones and you can get larger ones. The mini ones, they always have seasonal flavors like winter, fall, pumpkin. They have one for... Now they have drink cocktail mixes as well. So if you're like margaritas and fuzzy navels, um, bellinis, um, Bahama Mama... They have those mixers. My husband loves the margarita one. So, and it's lighter than your traditional margarita because it doesn't have all that sugar in it. So if you're trying to save points, because let's face it, tequila has points no matter what way you look at it. But you throw it in some skinny syrup, you're saving points on the skinny syrup. But that's all. So yeah, that's, we'll start with that one. We started, we started, we started going with coffee, but yeah, you can put it in your cocktails. So they have a whole cocktail line. That's why I suggest going on the website because you can actually see exactly what they have to offer. Marshall's Home Goods and all those only have a limited supply of different variety. But come holiday, they have the holiday ones like the Christmas cookie. I know. But yes, coffees, iced coffees, hot chocolates, hot tea. Again, you know me, I'm a chai tea person. I'm going to double up the chai with enhancing the chai taste with a chai. No brainer in my book. Lemonades. I have cotton candy. I have peach ring. I try to say a little variety and I have dragon fruit acai. You know, say you're just tired of lemonade. You can throw it in your water, your seltzer. How many of us hate seltzer? I hate LaCroix, but let me tell you something. You throw this in a LaCroix, it tastes like nobody's business. Because 
it's not sweet. But these add a little, and you only need a splash. Can I say that again? We only need a splash. They sell pumps you can get. Amazon has them. SkinnySyrup.com or Jordan's SkinnySyrup.com website has them. So you can get, you know, a, a pumps for your minis and pumps for your big ones. Pumps are where it's at because it gives you just enough. My husband has a little bit of a heavy hand. So his drinks are always a little too strong. I keep telling him, you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot. He likes to do that. So lemonades, iced teas, peach tea. And this one happens to have caffeine because it's plus energy. Again, a little goes a long way. Put a little in it if you want more, then you can always, always add more you can never take out. So we've said cocktails. We've said coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. I mean, talk about, I have a Dolce, I don't think I brought that one over, like a cinnamon Dolce de Leche in hot chocolate. Oh my God, it's phenomenal. Phenomenal. And I just got this one, which I haven't opened yet. This is maple bourbon pecan. <laughs> I know. Inside a hot chocolate would be awesome. All right, we've gotten drinks. How about food? How about oatmeal? Oatmeal is oatmeal, but you throw a little bit, again, a little bit of skinny syrup on the top. I say start with a teaspoon, then work your way up, maybe two teaspoons. If you're going to go to three teaspoons and it's still not enough, then I would go to a tablespoon. I think tablespoon is four teaspoons, give or take. So I say start off with teaspoon by teaspoon and see what your level of sweetness that you want and taste. You don't want to, you don't want to put too much in that it becomes overpowering and it's just not good. But a little goes a long way. So yeah, your oatmeal, your overnight oats. Shut the front door. I use this in place of extracts. You could double up if you wanted, but again, a little goes a long way. So, so we got oatmeal, we've got overnight oats, which is just cold oatmeal. How about pancakes? How about waffles? How about maple bourbon waffles that we make into like the McGriddles? Because come on, what's better than a, at a pancake than a bit of pancake sandwich? So yeah, so put this on your little pancakes and make little McGriddle sandwiches. You don't need to go to McDonald's anymore. You can make your own. Pancakes, waffles, cakes, mug cakes. You know I have a million recipes on my um, YouTube channel and on my website that have, you know, extracts. But skinny syrups instead. It just enhances the flavor. I have caramel. So you're going to amp up the caramel taste. Make a caramel cake with this. So say you didn't put it in. Know what else I've done? This is even better. Take out your cake and then get a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half and drizzle it on your warm cake and let it soak in. I can't begin to tell you how good that is. Phenomenal. Non-fat Greek yogurt. Plain. The little chai yogurt. The possibilities you can mix this are endless. Absolutely end endless. I'm choking on my own words because it's just, they just opened the door for me to do so many different things. You can make a smoothie, a chai smoothie, a caramel smoothie, a bourbon pecan smoothie with just your milk, a little yogurt, maybe some plain protein powder, like a vanilla, and add some caramel bourbon pecan. It makes it like a milkshake. Who knew? You're not counting any points or calories for these, but you're getting a ton of different flavors. And do I recommend getting as many as I have? Well, no, but um, here's a few of them. I'm just gonna share with you. Maple donut. Pumpkin spice, pumpkin cinnamon roll. So it's pumpkin, it's cinnamon. It smells like a legit pumpkin cinnamon roll. It's, they're just so good. I can't think of wonderful things about them. I'm obsessed. Pumpkin cheesecake. Yeah. So you wanna make pumpkin cheesecake overnight oats. You throw some pumpkin, some yogurt, some oats, a little sweetener, and a little bit of this and some a little bit of splash of milk. It's insane how delicious it is. And you're, you're gonna feel like you're eating something so decadent, but you're not, you're not. But like I said, 
for the fruity ones, you could, like I said, you can make adult cocktails. You could put it in your seltzer, your tea, your lemonade. So if you're tired of lemonade, throw a little bit of dragon fruit acai. Again, a little goes a long way. So I hope I was helpful with a few of these things. There's probably way more that I'm missing. Like you got, of course you put it in pudding and anything that you could put flavor in, you could add your skinny syrups to. I just always say, err on the side of just a little bit. Always could add more, you can't take it out. And why I'm not a wasteful person. You know, you could, I mean, seriously, I spritz this on my, um, I don't think I have this, oh, I do. I put some in a spritzer bottle. This is caramel skinny syrup. When I made the scones, I brushed it on the video, but I would normally just squirt it on, on top. It's just the fun things you can do with, you know, we have a, a, a certain amount of points to use and calories to eat. And, but we still want these decadent great things in our coffees, in our desserts, and Jordan Skinny Syrups allows that. So if you're not a person that, you know, or you know, there are people that won't eat anything that's chemically made. And I get that. But if you're one that does, then this is for you. Like I said, Home Goods has your best price. Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. But the website, which I'll have linked down below with my 10% off, has every all of them. At least go there and look and make yourself a list of ones you want to try. And then go look and see if they have them. All the holiday ones will be out probably in another few weeks. Like I said, the Christmas cookie. Then you'll see all the peppermint ones. Another one of my all-time favorites, did I bring it over here, is this one peanut butter cup. I take some powdered peanut butter, reconstitute it with the peanut butter cup, two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter to one, and a little bit of extra. I'd make it a heaping tablespoon, or you can make the caramel maple bourbon pecan. You have maple bourbon pecan peanut butter. I had pumpkin peanut butter the other day because I used my pumpkin Skinny serves with my peanut butter. So your peanut butter can be any flavor that you put in there that is here. It's to me, it just opens up a door of decadence and you don't feel again that you're, you know, you're giving up anything because you're not, you're eating it in a different form. So I hope this video helped you to know my reasons why I love the Jordan Skinny Syrups. And um, this is, like I said, this is just a fraction of what I have. I'd be too mortified to bring them all out. Because this video would, would go another 15 minutes if I show you my other collection. I throw, like I said, I made pistachio pancake muffins. I had regular plain Kodiak, which I know, I use Trader Joe's. I call it Kodiak, same thing in my book. And I throw a splash of pistachio in there. And a little green food coloring because you want to be extra green. I had pistachio pancake muffins. Didn't add any points or calories, but I added a lot of flavor. So those are my fun tips for skinny serves. I hope you enjoyed this video. And Rory, I hope you would, this was for you. I hope you got something out of it. I'm sure I've just scratched the surface. There's way more you can do with these, but I try to give you the few of the top ones, like this seltzer's big one, because I know a lot of you don't like seltzer, but you want to drink it. Three skinny syrups will help you get that seltzer down. If you have a case that you bought and you can't get it down, this will help just a little bit. So thank you for watching. If you enjoy videos like this, let me know with a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, jump on that bandwagon. Hit that subscribe button. We are creating a revolution here on Dish With D, and you need to be part of it. I have a Facebook group as well. Links down below. Have a great rest of your day. We will dish another day, folks. Have a great day.